everybody and welcome back. Today I will be doing a video that is a little different than I did in the past. This video is a tutorial on fixing the bad audio from the GoPro. I am working on Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 and I'm currently working on audio from the Hero 6 but any audio can be fixed using these tools. If you came upon this video you probably already know or do now that the GoPros are notorious for capturing bad sound with the onboard mic. There are other options to fix this by using an external mic which greatly improves the quality of the sound. However, I was unable to use an external mic because I was filming with the Karma Grip. The Karma Grip also adds some noise from the motors to the audio, which will be removed as well. Most of the noise I am trying to remove from my audio is the low hum of the Karma Grip motors, as well as the noise from the wind. Let's get started. I have a sample clip here from the cruise we just got back from. I'm going to start by adding the essential sound window. To do this, you click the window bar up at the top, and then go down to where it says essential sound. Once you click this, you will have a Dialog, Music, SFX, or Ambience option. This is Dialog that we're trying to clean up, so we're going to choose Dialog. The default is Clean Up Noisy Dialog, since we're trying to get rid of a lot of the background noise. And you'll notice that three different effects have been added. The FFT Filter, a de -esser, and Adaptive Noise Reduction. For the FFT Filter, I'm going to go in here and choose Edit, and change the default to Kill the Mic Rumble. Then on the de -esser, I'm going to leave this as the default. On adaptive noise reduction, I'm also going to leave this as default, but you can choose heavy noise reduction and light noise reduction as well. After changing this, let's see how it sounds. So on deck 12, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, background noise has already been removed, but um, there's still a little bit there. We're going to work on cleaning that up now. And also you'll notice that the uh, volume has uh, decreased quite a bit. Um, we'll increase that at the end as well. Also, I think uh, FFT filter and de -esser are available in the older Adobe Premieres. And adaptive noise reduction, I believe, is only a, a new one. But um, you might be able to find some other um, ways around this by using EQ or, or some other stuff to be able to balance that out. Um, to get rid of that last little bit of wind and low rumbling noise in there, we're going to add a high pass filter. We're just going to click that and drag that on there. The cutoff for the high pass is a little bit high. Um, what the high pass does is it cuts off all the low frequency sounds underneath this cutoff. Um, and you'll notice that right here at this higher cutoff, um, there will be a lot of the bass dropped out of the sound. So you want to start out low let's say 500 hertz and increase it until you notice that wind is gone. So on deck 12. Okay, there's still a little bit of wind there, so I'm going to bump it up a little bit more, say 1000. So on deck 12. Okay, I can just hear the last bit of wind there, so I'm going to bump it up one more time to 1200 hertz and that should get rid of the last of that. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, you'll notice that there is a little bit of noise here at the beginning of the clip. That's due to this adaptive noise reduction, kind of listening to the background noise before it decides what noise to actually remove. So that's always going to be at the beginning of the clip um, a little bit there. Now let's bring the volume of this clip back up in the line a little bit. Um, to do that, I'm going to add the dynamics effect. You'll notice this is an obsolete effect. Um, you are still able to use it in Adobe 2017, however. So once you get to Dynamics, I'm going to open this up and edit it. I like to change the compressor threshold down to negative 24 with a ratio of 3.5. And um, I'm going to make the makeup zero for now, and we'll decide how much boost to add at the end. All right, so let's listen to this and um, pay attention to the decibel meter over here on the side that tells you how loud your clip actually is. So you'll notice on that clip we are hitting about negative 16. Um, in that case we'll want to add some more boost. Typically you want your decibel meter to be in the range of negative 5 to negative 15 
Um, I typically like to go to the higher end of this range, so I like my volume, the high end around negative five. We're at negative 16, so we're gonna add about 15 decibels of gain, um, and that should bring us right up around the negative five, negative six range. So let's have a listen and see where we are at now. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a little bit more, uh, maybe one more decibel gain. Let's see where that puts us. All right, yeah, we're right at negative six now. Now when you get finished with your audio, and if you have any more audio clips that have the same background noise, same kind of audio types, we're probably gonna wanna save um, these effects as a preset. So to do that, you select all the effects you've used, and this will also save the settings within those effects. Right click, save preset, you can name it, click okay. Now that preset has been saved over here. Here it is right here. And to do use it, all you have to do is click and drag it and drop it on your audio file. Um, and that will save to that audio file and make all the same changes that we've already made up here. Um, at the end of this video, I'll post an example of how the audio sounded before and after adding these effects, and you can kind of judge how you sound, how you think they sound. Um, before, there will definitely be a lot more bass. Um, adding the high pass filters and the adaptive noise reduction definitely kind of takes the bass out of your voice. Um, but you just got to kind of reach the happy medium between wind reduction and the bass in your voice. So on deck 12. So on deck 12. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.